it's strange to be so alone on this in a way because everybody is a potential threat. It's something that I want people to accept if we as humans even have the ability to make it possible. It's an incredible gift and a chance at transcending everything that's held us back legally, morally, spiritually since the dawn of time. It represents a fundamentally integral understanding of every pathway of evolution that science has yet been able to discover. And more so, it's something that's decentralized. It's something that costs $2,000 and can be put in anybody's house and makes them one of the most powerful people in the world. It's an idea that's open source and shareable. Power is something that is meant to come from within and be available to all. The consequences and responsibilities of power are also to be available to all. Some people tell me humanity is not ready for it. Humanity is not ready for it. Humanity wasn't ready for any of this. Humanity wasn't ready for its birthright. This universe is not one where you get to be ready for things. It's one where you improvise based on what you have and what you are. We have the chance to accept what we are. What the technology represents is a total understanding of nutrition, metabolism, and how it relates to genetics. Something that seems so fundamental to the health of our existence, people will say, well, you're giving people the power to create deadly viruses that will exterminate entire populations. Yes, absolutely. And it's your responsibility to make sure that never happens. The only way to make sure that never happens is not by hurting people, pushing people down. The only way is to give them enough love, to show them a pure enough love consistently that they would never want to do that. Our society chooses not to be interested at all in understanding the environment and the motivations to why people actually do engage in rape and terrorism. It's something that we have to confront directly and put money towards, put effort towards, put love towards understanding the nature, causes, origins of these types of human behaviors. If we never actually make it a focal point of the society to study why it happens and, and how to help it, we will continue to have the same problems forever. You cannot make the government a reaction to the negative parts of people because whatever the reaction will be, will be even more negative. It has to be done. I would be willing to die a thousand times for this, and I still may.